According to the map, the zoo should be along the passageway. But I need to find a way to get over to the opposite side. You can jump this. There are no trains running right now, but service might be resumed soon. There might well be no trains, but there's still a hundred thousand volts in the lines. I'm not risking it. Where's your sense of fun? There's a pathway running into the tunnel over there, but it's on the opposite platform. According to the map, the zoo should be along the passageway. But I need to find a way to get over to the opposite side. This is where I came in. It's too high to climb up. Looks like I'm stuck here. The pipe is fixed to the tunnel ceiling. I can't reach it. The exit is barred due to the subway being closed. There's no way through. It leads to a maintenance room of sorts. Unfortunately, the padlock is too strong to break. It's a long metal chain. It weighs too much. It seems every available space is used for advertising these days. I'm not taking any notice. It's a metal logo on the advertisement board. It's a solid looking letter S. It's screwed to the board. I can't get it off with my bare hands. We don't have any more acids, but we do have a gun. I'm not sure why we can't break off this padlock with this metal bar, but there you go. No excuse for the workers not to wash, I guess. It could do with a wash itself. Just ordinary benches, not built for comfort, it seems. Just a standard cabinet, pretty dirty. There's nothing of interest here. Nice babe. There's just something about this poster. This is getting a little bit creepy right now. A rusty old cabinet. It's a workman's tool bag. Leads, a screwdriver and a socket spanner. Hmm, I wonder what's behind there. This door isn't shown on the map. To open the door, I need to turn the hasp. I've got to turn this to open the door, but it seems seized up. It's no good. It won't turn. It seems to be seized up. I've seen better, but I've also seen a hell of a lot worse. Nah, it's not that special. I'll leave it. This one is almost rotting at the hinges. It's small and rusty. We have this very heavy chain and this pipe up here and an S that is screwed in. So what we need to do now is make a grappling hook. Now the chain has a makeshift hook. And this chain that is too heavy to pick up, we can actually swing 10 feet into the air. Like so. According to the map, this is the passageway that leads to the zoo.
The high voltage current leads into this box. Nah, far too dangerous to mess around with. Hmm, it's a concealed control panel. It's locked and needs some sort of key. It's a magnetic reader. I think it's to deactivate the field. Nothing happened. I think I need a card to do it. The magnetic field is blocking the entrance to the zoo. Too risky. I'm not frying tonight. When the lever is lowered, current is passed through the contacts. This switch turns the electric current on. They're insulated copper leads. I better be careful, the leads are live. So right now we need to apply electricity to this magnetic field. I'm not sure about the science behind this, but apparently it works. Right, let's fry this sucker. Damn, the roof has collapsed. I need to get to the other platform to get to the zoo. More garbage. It's dusty, and obviously been out of action for a while. No point, it'll never work. Just an overturned trash can. It's not important. Another bad design of yesteryear. Uncomfortable and covered in dust. Even if I was tired, the floor would be a more comfortable option. It's an old loudspeaker, one of the electromagnetic kind. I can't quite reach it. Well, we can quite reach it. Just with the things of help. It's what's left of the loudspeaker when it broke. It's the magnet from the loudspeaker I bust. Geez, it's years since I've seen anything like this. It must be worth something. No good. It's out of service and I can't prize it from the wall. It's still lit up but doesn't appear to be working. Not surprising after all this time. No use. It's not in working order. It's what was left of the loudspeaker. Rusty old pliers, although they seem in working order. There's a hidden passageway leading down. The embankment stops just beyond these barriers. It's no use. We can't actually do anything from this side. It was obviously ruined when the ceiling collapsed. The stairs are in a state of disrepair. I'd better be careful. There's no way through. It's hanging down on a cable. It's almost dropped to the floor. 
It's steel and firmly attached to the ceiling. It's fairly unstable. But if I'm quick, I can make it across by using the fallen sign and debris. Define quick. Hmm, the sign still lights up. There must still be power. Better leave it. I wonder what happened to all the animals. A plastic plant. At least it stood the test of time. It's dusty and covered with dirt, but there's nothing interesting through it. Hard to read what it says. The text is aged and is barely legible. Does that say bar? Let's go and get a drink. Probably about the worst looking drapes I've ever seen. An old broom with a broken handle. It contains some sort of flammable gas. It says to keep it away from bright light and heat. Potentially very dangerous. Behind the curtain is where they stored their junk. There's no room to get inside. Besides, I can see most of it from here. They even thought to decorate the TV in the style of the room. It's bust. Oil, all congealed, long past its use-by date. I imagine that this place was packed when the zoo was open. Pity there's no bar service these days. The zoo was really up on technology. This terminal must have been the source of useful info about the place. Pity it's not working. It might have had a map of the zoo. It's empty. It's not my day. Hmm. Curious furniture. It's nailed to the floor. Standard bar table, I guess. I might have known there'd be a cactus somewhere in this place. It's a warning light for the magnetic field. The field is activated. There are no buttons or anything. Nothing I can do from here to shut it down. The magnetic field is to prevent visitors from getting onto the exhibit. It's no good. I can't get through. Is this one of the Hindu goddesses? I could guess right now, but I do not want to offend. The Well of Knowledge, Union Zoo's bookstore. It's no use, it's reinforced. Guess there is another door somewhere?
Hey, there's a young kid up there. I gotta get up and talk to him. Whatever he's doing, it must be important. He isn't shifting from up there. Hey, kid! Ah, it's no use. He can't hear me from here. The warning light for the magnetic field is off. The field is now deactivated. I hope that crocodile is not real. This locks the machinery closed. It's closed already, perhaps I should use the panel. Looks like this heap of crap ran on oil. It's a control panel for the machine. I hope I didn't waste the kid. Whoops. I haven't got much. I'd better not waste it. This rusty old equipment is connected to the sluice. A rusty old sluice. The water looks foul and it stinks. I'm not swimming in there. Thank the stars it's only a robot that's seen better days. Nope, no time to fashion any handbags today. Maybe he needs my help. <laughs> Maybe? Wow. I should try and find a way to reach him. Hmm, some kind of strange fluid is leaking from here and polluting the pond. I'd better not mess with it. God knows what it is. It's full of electronic components. Nothing I can use from here. Truly spectacular. This electromagnetic barrier is to keep visitors off the exhibits. No good. I'd only risk injury. Shame. This mechanical creature is out of action. The amazing Sphinx of Giza. An imposing mystical statue. Welcome to Union Zoo's Egyptology Exhibition. This magnificent structure is a reconstruction of the mystical Sphinx of Giza, situated in Cairo's archaeological area. As well as this magnificent structure, at the original site, one can also visit the incredible pyramids of Cheops, Kepler... Warning. Technical malfunction in command file. Replace damaged file. Control room access code follows. Use graphic wheels according to standard procedure. Today's code. Under the supreme eye of the father of the gods sits the solar protector of all men. To the right of he who delights in the eternal becoming of his being. Well, at least there appears to be a control room somewhere. I just need to crack the access code. I know this. It's the Egyptian god Anubis. There are three wheels at the base of the statue. I believe that this is our first real puzzle, but we do not have the answer right now. Well, nothing happened. The barrier that prevents visitors getting onto the exhibits I can't get past. We've done all that we can do at the zoo right now. 
We do have this small can of oil, so let's head back to the platforms. It's hanging over the platform. Hmm. I can't quite reach it. <laughs> I can almost touch it. That was a very piss poor attempt. I've managed to magnetize the bar. The can is empty now. Doesn't look like the bulb is working. The light switch. The filament is wasted. The bulb is trash. I don't believe that we can do much else in here right now. There's a hidden passageway down here. The pipes are obviously carrying something, but I'm not sure what. The box is hot to touch. It's vibrating slightly, but nothing happened. It's shut tight, but I can see another passageway beyond it. Hey, there's another passageway behind here. That's a very inconvenient way of entering this room. Very odd. A well inside the store itself. A whole section on the Jurassic period. I've no use for these. Pity these books didn't go extinct as well. Religion? Strange subject matter for a zoo. A section on birds, but not the type of birds I prefer to admire. You are a little bit creepy, Joshua. Pity they're extinct. Too many rich people wanted coats, I guess. I'll leave it alone. Pity others didn't too. A map of the world. Pity it's not a map of the zoo. Cool. Another extinct species. I hate snakes. All right, Indiana. Very nice. I've always wanted one like that. Pity there's nothing of interest or use inside. This was probably the cash desk. I can't see anything of interest. A reading light. I've taken the bulb. I've taken the bulb. Your choice, buddy. Nah, leave him to it. Pretty convincing, but probably plastic all the same. More books on extinct animals such as lions and tigers. This section is on snakes. I hate snakes. The section on architecture. From the pyramids onwards, how boring. Here's a section on goddesses. Particularly Kali and the other Indian gods. So is that goddess Kali? Maybe we need this book? I'm not interested. Okay, fair enough. Interesting. This section has books on Egyptology and Egyptian gods. 
This looks very interesting. Now you're interested. Books on the evolution of plant life according to man. Strange that all the plants around here are plastic. It's a book about ancient Egyptology and Egyptian gods in particular. Right. Are you not going to explain more? Oh, okay, let's head back to the Sphinx then. Actually, I forgot to do one thing. I forgot that we picked up this ball, but let's give this a try. Sounds like there's liquid running through the pipes. I'm not quite sure what this is for. It's broken. I can't use it. Looks like they were once full of paint. Covered in rust and cobwebs. One of those universal types. It adapts most plugs to most sockets. There's nothing of interest in it. Fairly ordinary looking sink, hasn't been used for a while. Well, that's very convenient. So can we actually use this book with... Oh, here we go. The Jackal of Asiat, a divine animal figure, patron and protector of the necropolis of Sakaris. Portrayed as a woman of the solar disk, bearing a circle of light, goddess of heaven. Often painted on sarcophagi, this minor goddess of the heavenly vault spreads protective wings over the mummy. A solar god, often depicted as a falcon. He is assigned the role of protector from all sickness that afflicts mankind. Portrayed as a woman with a cat's head, goddess of feminine fertility. Grotesque god portrayed in the act of entertaining women in labor with music and dance. Above all, he fosters sleep. Seen in the act of leaning forward from the branches of a tree, pouring water over the tomb of a dead person, goddess of mercy. Goddess of the Nile and its might. Often portrayed mounted on a knot, the horse totem adored by the masses. Portrayed as a sacred winged scarab beetle, he was the image of a god always becoming in his continuous cycle of dying then rising again. God of the space between heaven and earth. Ra is the sun god and head of all Egyptian gods. He is often depicted as a man with a hawk's head. Attributed to be the wife of Osiris, goddess of harvests and vegetation. Right, so we have the first clue which is under the supreme eye of the Father of Gods. And that has to be... Ra? Then it sits the solar protector of, of all men. And to the right of he who delights in eternal becoming of his being, which I believe is Horus. I got that combination correct. Good for you. And the second one, the left-hand side one was Kepra. Okay. 